What's up, guys? Your boy Ozzy. What's up? It's your boy Mikey Stack. And right now we're on episode seven of Tuned Into the Culture. A lot has happened since the last time we spoke to y'all. Yeah. Ooh. So first topic, we want to go ahead and wish everybody a happy Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, yeah. Don't be drinking and driving out there. Don't be drinking and driving out there. And then get Call that little Uber. Be safe. Exactly. It is not worth it. Like getting your license suspended for like six months to a year, jail time, and having to be take a mandatory uh, retest for your driver's You're license. Paying like close tens thousands of dollars. It's not worth it, man. Not if you're you gonna get drunk, get an Uber, get a friend that don't drink to come pick you up. Just have a plan, man. Even not just single tomorrow, just everyday weekend, everyday life. Just make sure you got a plan when you're drinking it and all that. Exactly. And follow up to that, Canelo Alvarez versus John Ryder is tomorrow, May 6th. And yeah. if, if that man Canelo wins this match, which he probably will, I'm, I'm, he's going to be the person I'm going for. If I was putting money, I'd put him on Canelo. Yeah, if he too. wins, it's really going to be a, it's a party in, uh, in Mexico, you know what I'm saying? Because Mexico yeah. rock with uh, Canelo way more than they rock with Garcia. A lot of people, like, they don't really see Garcia as a true... Like he's like a TikTok fighter. Yeah, they, they, they like call him TikTok fighter. Yeah, I mean he he has a solid record. He had twenty three. So it wasn't like he was, he wasn't doing something. But like Canelo, way more respectable in the yeah, in the right. in the Latin community. Yeah. So I'm he he's in a super middleweight uh, class right now. So he's he's doing good. He's like one sixty something. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm gonna see that tomorrow night. And then the next thing we got Chance the Rapper. He just had his ten year anniversary for his uh, mixtape Acid Rap. And say what you want about Chance the Rapper. His his uh, influence in the music industry is undeniable. He literally got Kanye West to to do more stuff when he came to music. Yeah, he like did. you saw what he did on Ultra Light Beam. When he was on Ultra Light Beam, that's when more people realized that dang, Chance really is cold for real. Yeah, that acid rap's a classic too. Yeah, man. He, he, when he remixed that. Uh, What's your favorite song off that acid rap? Oh dang, it would probably be like Cocoa Butter Kiss. <laughs> I got them cocoa butter. That's what I'm about to say, too. Dude, that's, that's my favorite one, too. That's my mama. But my second one is favorite song, though. Yeah. You heard a favorite song? I also like a good good uh, intro. The one, the song he got with uh, Ab Soul is hard, too. Yeah. What's that name of that song? I don't know off the top of my head, but it it's a lot of good. Like, cause the song that he got with uh, Childish Gambino, the favorite song, that's, that's a hit for sure, too. And Juice. Juice. Yeah, that's favorite. That's my second favorite. Yeah, one. Juice. Yeah, and I think they they did a ten year anniversary edition too. Let me see what yeah. they add on here. They added uh, what what did what they add? Oh yeah, everybody's something. Da, da, what uh, da, da, da. oh smoke again? That song. Yeah. And then Pusha Man, Pusha Man, good too. That's my shit. That's my shit. So anyway, na, 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 na. so ten year anniversary, crazy. That mix it really came out ten years ago. It's twenty twenty three. So yeah, April thirtieth was the anniversary. Right now it's May fifth. So Chance really Coco Body Kiss is probably the most iconic song off there. That's what most everybody knows. Because it got it got Twister on there. And uh and Big Mesa, the yeah. one that got bullied by academics. But yeah, uh <laughs> Yeah, um yeah. You wanted to mention that so bad. Con- congrats to uh Chance the Rapper. I guess him and his wife doing good, even though he got caught twerking in uh twerking in what country he was in? I think they were in like Barbados or yeah. one of the But it was good good to see that. Good, man. Black men don't cheat. Remember that. And also, it's, it's the carnival. Carnival, dude, that's literally what they do. They dance on people. So it's like, yeah. Black men don't cheat anyway. So yeah. we know he was good. Offset on the other hand, though. He might not be huh? the, Offset might be Dominican. Then. <laughs> <laughs> that man might be Dominican. He like, he like, me no black, me no black, me Dominican. Like, he he might be Dominican. Though. Am I not to cheat on Cardi B? Yeah. What, academics said he was cheating on her with Big Booty uh, Shotties from uh, South Africa? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> And they got past that though. They was about to get a divorce and then they canceled it. So they got past he, it. She literally left him and then he had to come. He had to drop a whole song. She filed for divorce. Yeah. And she took it he back. had to get back on his knees and be like, please don't leave. And the baby just was born. You know what's so crazy? You ain't hearing shit about him cheating since. Yeah. He, 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 he realized it, man. This is the, he said this is the greatest good I'm ever going to get. And like, when you date people in the industry, most of them will really snake you and do yeah. dirty. She actually generally loves him. Yeah. She was well, loyal to try to say he fucked sweetie, but I guess that came out false. So. Yeah. Besides that, we don't, we don't really know the full story of like what happened because every all this is just speculation. Yeah. So until anything gets confirmed, it's all just rumors. Not not with the offset and Cardi B thing, but the, with the Quavo and what made the group break up. But that's a topic for another day. You know what I'm saying? But like we were saying, ten year anniversary for the mixtape for for a, a project made by artists to be considered classic, it has to be it has to have replay value in the next few years. Like take care, classic. classic. We know that's classic. We we know Good Kid, Mad City, classic. classic yeah. College, Tw- drop, college Dropout? Classic. Classics. 2014 Forest Hill Drive, J. Cole? Mm-hmm. Classic. Classic. Unreasonable Doubt by Jay-Z? Classic. Classic. 
Notorious B.I.G. Oh, his shit classic. classic. Shit, Astro War by Travis Scott. Bro, he, bro he, this man hasn't dropped a, a solo album in like <laughs> over. It, Astro War came out twenty eighteen. It's been five years. He's been doing concerts from an album yeah, from five like, years. That's, ago. that's probably a classic too. People that's like people classic. usually be like, oh, but it's too new to be. No, it's classic. The radio, the streets, the fans are rocking with the song because he's supposed to be a it's supposed to be like a what is it, Astrotopia yeah. or something Topia Utopia. That's the name of the album that he's been promoting for like the past yeah. four years, but it still hasn't dropped. If you got good music, it's gonna keep living past the test of time. Like it doesn't matter if it's fifty years from now, your kids could be listening to like electronic, just digital sounds from fifty years from now, and people would be like, "Yeah, I remember when Drake dropped that Take Care." That was a, that was a bop. That was a that was a hit back in my day, you know. Classic. Back right when he had that song with uh, what's his name, Stevie Wonder, and he had the hit with Drake. He had the hit with Lil Wayne, Weezy F Baby, the F is for Finisher. <laughs> he had hella songs with him. Yeah, classic. And then I wanted to talk about uh, Dylan Brooks. So Dylan Brooks is getting cut from the Grizzlies. You, it's kind of crazy. He got cut before John Morant. John Morant, he was on the fire. They were like, <laughs> but suspending from the game, doing all this. Time out. There's a difference between him and John Morant. They paying John Morant over 130 something million, and he's the best player on the team. And John Morant he has leverage. Everything that they were accusing him with, it was just speculation because he didn't get he didn't get arrested for anything. Nah, so they were like, it's just talk. He, he was just being ignorant. Pretty but much. they they caught Dylan. They, Dylan Brooks was on camera. He 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 hit him in the he hit him in the nuts. <laughs> and he was what else he do? He got a flagrant two foul from the ref. What he, he was, got, he was he got trolling the LeBron said he oh he likes to like, poke he, bears. He, yeah. Looks like the nigga poked the wrong bear because they yeah. got him. To I was gonna say that there. you gotta remember who you're talking to. That, that's Mister. That's Mister. Four Rings. Been to the finals over ten times. But I don't think he got kicked. I don't think he got cut because of LeBron. I think he just they were tired of his antics. Like yeah. he was just causing problems. On the I just feel like when it comes to like sports, if you're gonna be kicking people out for antics, then you gotta be equal with everybody. Yeah, no, I agree with Dream you. Draymond Green, he was literally kicking people in the nuts on several, stopping on niggas several games. He, he was stopped on Sabonis against yeah. the Kings. He was wild and. He, he would say some wild stuff too, you know. But yeah, they let that slide. But I'm, I'm just saying, if you're gonna be kicking people out the game, because I agree it was unnecessary. But like to kick him out the team, they didn't kick him off the team. They just not renewing his contract. Yeah, so that's exactly. after the they season ended. So they said they're not bringing yeah, the fact yeah, under know. no circumstances. He, gonna, he could get on his. <laughs> He'll knees find and, another team. He could get on his knees and do a pro- yeah, probably gonna do it. You know, it'd be crazy if he was on the team with the Lakers. That one. LeBron. LeBron will accept him just to put him on the bench. But Lance Stevenson was on the Lakers with LeBron, and Lance Stevenson used to troll. Lance Stevenson, Draymond Green, LeBron Artest. They probably became real cool. Patrick Beverly, all the people used to troll LeBron, and they all end up playing with him, except for fucking uh, Ron Artest and Dylan Brooks. But that's different, though. They're joking on and off the court. This is just like straight up, like, I really like want to fight you type of stuff. Shit, Draymond and LeBron are best friends now. LeBron and his wife went to Draymond's wedding and shit. Yeah, I know they're cool. Like, this is it's just a sport. Like, people act like this is like WWE SmackDown where, like, hey, man, I see you in the street. It's over. We're like, we're just hooping, man. Like, it's not even that deep. People be wanting a robbery. A robbery does not mean that it's beef. It just means that this is my competition. That's all it is. Yeah. But people, and especially on social media now, everybody wants everything to be an argument, beef, and they want it to be, like, settled with hands. They're like, ooh, he's hyping this, like, he's doing this. LeBron, you gonna go like that? I'm 39. <laughs> But all those aside, though, LeBron 39, he's still even better than most people that are 25 to 28. That's saying a lot. Facts. That man, even though they took an L, they took an ass from to the Warriors last night. But don't forget, they, they, they in the final. They, but they get into the final selection. 1-1, one, one, they in the semifinals. So hopefully, yeah. I want to see Braun win. Let's go Lakers. Yeah, so next thing I want to talk about, since we're talking about the, the Grizzlies, I want to talk about John Morant. A lot of rappers have been talking about him in his music lately. So first, we got uh, Rollo Rodriguez, right? He literally has a song called John Morant. I don't even really listen to Rollo. I don't even really Rollo, 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 who else? Rollo, no cap, and Polo G. So, look what he said. Rollo said something real funny. Let me pull up the lyric real quick. He said, thank you, John Morant. You go posting pistols up in your lives. I'm from Alabama. I'm the biggest from us in Roll Tide. So he, he was throwing a little joke in there. The song, he literally made a whole song called John Morant. So that's funny. He really trying to fucking maximize. <laughs> and then <laughs> Sleazy World, Go, and uh, Polo G, they just dropped a song. They dropped a music video, like, I think last night. It's yeah. put a song called Go. It's been going pretty crazy on social media. I heard and this shit. He, 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 he was like, my little nigga shoot stuff on and off the court like John Morant. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're really funny with this. And what would No Cap say? No Cap said, he was saying some real funny stuff, too. I mean, they pretty much saying the same thing. Let's see. Say we on the forty, da da da. I'm a V eight. It was just right here. Oh yeah, he said. He said we in the club with the iron. We shoot like John Morant. <laughs> like everybody talking about the club and shooting like John Morant. 
Hey, he brought it upon himself. He, he going to be a punchline for at least the yeah, rest they of his year. They, 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 they gonna be like, at least the rest of his year, he, he going to be a punchline. And no cap really could have said something slick about, I'm in a different type of NBA like John Morant. Because like, cause with the gun bar, he be carrying. Yeah. That's funny. Oh, man. I, I'm glad John Morant is still playing. Because he, he literally got the hoop. Even though they lost, he was still hooping, though. Like, he, he, was, was. he was dropping like 35. After that after that incident, when he took some time off and came back, he he been... He ain't heard nothing about everybody. Him, so everybody, he got more people saying his parade is solid. Saying people don't even know who he is, and they saying that. Yeah, that's 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 how young boy said that at first. Yeah, but I'm saying like, and now everyone thinks that John Moran started that. But it's, it's we, I know that. But I'm saying when you make something so popular, and that everybody's saying that, just like the you can't see me, they thought yeah. John Cena started when yeah. it's really Tony Ayo. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that. Yeah, and people are, people, that. people gonna hear that now. Oh, I had no idea. Cause John Cena made it popular. Even John Cena said he and got it from Tony A. And what, what's his name? What Drake, your favorite rapper system? He said it's not about who did it first, it's about who did it better. Yeah, that's, that's facts. Like, that's just really how it's gonna be. Like, people are always gonna remember the person that's always like yeah. more prominent. Than a lot of rappers reach. rap, rap and sing. I know y'all tired of me mentioning Drake. I'm sorry. Every episode, but I'm gonna Drake mention him. This goes to you, Daniel. I know when you see this, you gonna be like, Daniel, you mention every episode. I sure do. But at least twice episode. Dan. <laughs> Drake really was like, yeah, Ja Rule saying rap, 50 Cent kind of harmonizing rap, don't get me wrong, but Drake, he the best at it, so, yeah, that's it, that's my only Drake reference. Bro, this is Oregon McFlurry goes super, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> this nigga eating during the podcast. Yeah, hey, man, I'm gonna eat whenever. If I'm hungry, I'm gonna eat. So, next thing we're gonna talk about is Jamie Foxx. Pray. So, pray for my Pray for him and his family. So, Jamie Foxx, 55, a lot of people forget that he's that old, well, and to me, being black, we don't call ourselves old until we're like 80, because, you know. You really look young until you're like 65, for real, for real. Yeah. But they said that he had some type of compl- medical complication during the surgery. They're not talking about what it is, but Kevin Hart did an interview saying that that's like one of his closest friends, like outside of like the, in- the entertainment industry. He's in the entertainment industry. No, he's like out, like, like, like he's friends with him, like outside of oh, the okay, yeah. yeah. That's what I meant. I probably phrased that wrong, but you get the yeah. gist. So he was saying that uh, his family wants to keep privacy about what the condition is. And which is respectful because, you know, social media, they be doing it. But there's going to be some people that are praying for it. There's going to be some people that, if they know exactly what's wrong with him, they're going to be making jokes about it. And that's probably not what you want to be hearing when your family Not dies. Jamie. Jamie a good dude. Good yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. But, you know, there's always people with internet trolls. You know, they're yeah. going to be trying to crack jokes. Oh, like when Chadwick Boseman, before people found out he had cancer, he, he was, was losing yeah. He was losing mad weight. People were saying, oh, he's a crackhead. Oh, he's doing drugs. The whole time he had cancer. And then everybody was, after they found out why he died, they were like, oh, we're so sorry. Like, People just want to be saying anything when they don't know the full story. People just want to get likes on social media. Mm-hmm. They don't care about the human human side of things. Yeah, no, That's what's wrong no with empathy. society. Yeah. So praise out for his family. We hope that uh, he. I heard it was a coming. stroke or anger or something like that. Yeah, but, but I don't. We know. We'll, 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 find, we'll find out like way after the fact. And uh, speaking of like cap, uh, tragedy, Jerry Springer. Jerry Springer died at seventy nine. Jerry, Jerry. He said Jerry, when, it, when it comes to the Jerry. he said when it comes to the result, Janice. Tyrone is not a father. <laughs> Bro, that was mainly Maury, though. Jerry Springer yeah. had more like drama yeah, shit happening. Regardless, though, like, he females he, cheating on each other. He had people shit. doing backflips when they weren't the dad. Like yeah, he was really he, more, he, yeah. he, he was he was like he said I don't know man like me personally I wouldn't be. You didn't even grow up on that show. That was before your time, young blood. But I can catch re- I can catch reruns just like I grew up on that. When I was at home, when we had half days and shit. I used to sneak and watch that, even though my mom was saying yeah. not to watch it. Shout I, out to you, mom. Why, 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 why do why do OGs always forget that the internet exists so people can rewatch things that already <laughs> happened? Like the same way we know about Bernie Mac. Will Smith. Before and, uh, there was internet, before there was all this other shit. Eddie Murphy. And before like, everyone, this, everyone that's on stand-up, listen, we, we watched them. Before there was the internet, before there was PS5, before there was this shit, it was Maury and Jerry Springer, Judge Judy, Judge Mathis, y'all old heads know what and I'm talking about. Joe, how you gonna forget Judge Joe Brown? Back when people actually watched TV. How you, how you guys gonna mention Judge Joe Brown, bro? Judge Joe Brown, too? Yeah, back before, back when people actually still watched you TV. That, you seen that one video? He said, he said, he said, you're crypt. No, I said crypto. He said, oh, I know some crypts. <laughs> <laughs> that boy Joe back before oh, cell phones like that, 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 that boy Big Blue Jerry Springer man he always gonna be a go talk show yeah. rest in peace Jerry man I hope they, I know you going wild up there they said in heaven he probably reading out the results of who not making it to heaven he said that they said something about he's probably bringing Tuka backstage to see King Von some yeah. shit I see people, <laughs> yeah. people really be wild bro I swear rest in peace Jerry on frills my thoughts and prayers to his family man mm-hmm. you always be remembered man yeah Another, Talk show legend right there. Right? Another like thing that's go that's been having people talking is like designer was on an airplane and he was being like, his me. Yeah, he was playing with his Johnson. 
You know, you know what his reason say? He said he couldn't get no, excuse my language, vagina in Japan. So I guess on the car, on the plane ride, that's he really, started stroking him, that's really, choking his corn, as my stepdad used to say. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? He said, I ain't never "Shout out to Al, my uh, stepdad." Your, your stepdad a real OG. Like, I heard, I heard spanking the monkey, but shucking your corn. <laughs> you ever heard that, nah, bro? <laughs> well, hey, anyway, he shuck the corn. Oh, okay, okay, yo, don't be doing all that on, on, on the camera screen, bro. Be wild right now. I ain't gonna lie. That's... <laughs> I'm so my, my meat is in my pants. I'm, I'm saying like, like why that. Why is he so graphic? Dang, what are you bro, talking bro. about? Max? You need to edge in the podcast. Man, he's just doing too much. It's an unfiltered podcast. This is my platform. I can say what I want. I ain't doing nothing, man. man. You can say what you want, man, but I'm going to still give you bombastic side eye. What you talking about? I guarantee you, when people see this, they're like, yo, that shit made me laugh. Yeah, Yeah, they're going to lie. They said, what's your goofy stuff, bro? (laughs) Hey, that's what you do. You shut them corn. That's how you do it, like this. You suck oh in the corn. Gosh, bro. That man said he's peeling onions, but he's taking the layers off. <laughs> that sounds more like a euphemism for my, That sounds more like a euphemism for uh, people that that get circumcised than actually beating the meat. So I'm shucking my corn, removing the layer. Like that don't sound like no beating the meat. That's what my stepdad used to say. He said, "What you in there shucking corn?" That's what he said. <laughs> yeah, that funny. But, yeah, he is. Yeah, but with the whole desire thing, like I, I think before, like the video that popped up of him like getting arrested. Or whatever they were like, he said, "Oh, I'm not in a good mental health state." And people were like, "Oh, he's just saying that because he got caught doing something dumb." Yeah, and I was like, "Oh, I was out here thinking that he was having a mental breakdown because a lot of the people he knows just died recently." So like, cause I know Man. when Takeoff passed away, he was like really upset. Everybody was upset. I was yeah. upset. I don't even know Takeoff. Yeah. That was crazy. It's been a crazy year, bro. Like. That was last year. I know, but I'm saying like it's, it's, <laughs> it's still been a crazy year, man. Lance Reddick passed from from uh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. From the Wire the- and John Wick. And, and, Des- and Destiny. Oh yeah. And now that now that John Wick Four has been out, they 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 killed off his character in uh, John Wick Four too. So that's like so wild. For real? Yeah. I didn't see it yet. Thanks for ruining it. It's been like a month and a half. I know. I don't care. I haven't seen it. You yet. a peon? I, <laughs> I ain't see it. You a peon? How you gonna miss John? It's been over a month. Like, look, if it's been over a month, you haven't seen the movie. That, at that point, you want to be spoiled. Like, hey man. I mean, I seen that Mario movie. That movie was pretty dope. Yeah, it was. Chris Pratt did a way better job than I expected. But you know who really did a great job on the Mario movie? Jack Black. Yeah, Bowser. That, 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 now when I play the video games, I, I played the game right after I, I watched the movie. It was really funny. I was like, now nah, in my mind, Jack Black's voice is going to be uh, Bowser. He yeah, was like, he did good. He was like, peaches, 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 peaches. He was like, the Koopa Troopas and Mario can never stop me from being with you. Yeah. You, you saw uh, in his Back to Designer real quick. You saw what Michael Blackson was saying? <laughs> about when he tweeted about oh he said he said that man he said he, he said he was like that nigga doesn't <laughs> that he, he, was like, he was like that nigga doesn't have any mental problems he just got caught stroking himself he said he said I like how you mad Kai you can do some fucked up shit and blame it on mental, mental health. health you just a horny nigga hey, bro, we said that at the same time <laughs> hey, that man owe me a, 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 a oil McFlurry that oh, you shit nigga I just said James we said that at the same time he said nigga. you got, he said you just a horny nigga. <laughs> you know it's crazy because you if you're that rich and you're a celebrity you should never be that dumb man just wait like you get off the plane you could literally just text one of your fans fans you, you got fans that want to like smash with you so wasn't but, thinking that yeah he, he clearly wanted to think he was thinking with his meat all right and Ken Lamar did something pretty major man now mm-hmm. so now he's the first artist to gross over 110.9 million dollars off a single tour that's cap so he so it's literally, it's literally documented. If you, if you look at the, there's no way he made more. Than, never mind. That's cap. I'm trying he, not to miss. He, he's about to say, oh, he, he, he can not sell Drake. Well, he sold nine hundred twenty nine thousand tickets across seventy three different shows, and it, it made everybody. I didn't say that's cap. Everybody, why is it that anytime somebody up when someone gets an award and it's been documented, people still want to hate and say that it's not true? Like I don't know. And you know, it's the same thing when your when your favorite rapper Drake do something successful. You're like, oh. He wasn't on. He wasn't on top Billboard for over for over ten weeks. Drake can do that. He's not good enough. Like, yeah, you can. hate to tell, hate to break it to people, right? Just because you're not a fan of an artist does not mean that the artist is not successful. Hate to break it. To, I, I know it's a shot. Oh, oh my gosh, no way. He that, he's mid. He's trash. Okay, he's trash to you. <laughs> and you're probably trash too. Sitting in your mom's basement, no job, having stuff, don't got no whip, no gas money, Damn. don't got no investments. You broke. You tell him why you mad, Craig. <laughs> 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 That man, he said he in the basement because he can't afford a chicken sandwich. <laughs> That's not like something TJ Sticky said. He said he said he said they so bro they don't even know how to scan for a chicken sandwich. It's crazy. 
Damn, my man mad, yo. Yeah, that boy yeah. teaching how life lessons. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. Get, he yeah. said, just because you don't like him, that don't mean he ain't like. Yeah, bro. So it, it's funny. That's just how it is, right? Because social media has gotten people too comfortable disrespecting people just because they don't know. Yeah. Because I promise you, if you saw him in person, you would never be bold enough to say Say it. social media that made motherfuckers like, just Comfort. brave to hate and they be all like, types of they're like, shit. They're like, oh, your mom's, your mom's weak. Your mom's ugly. She looked like she got she got extra meat on her elbows. Like, what you hating? Tell me in my face. I'm, I'm, just, I'm, like, I'm like, what you mean by that? Bring that. Me! I'm, I'm, hey, man, you just got guns right there. Yeah, my so bad. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't mean that. Them shits is like weapons. My bad, bro. You know, my go to jail for My, my, my arms are registered, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I do got some legal hands. Speaking <laughs> of hands, that tank, we, we called it. We did. We called it. Because I had posted on Instagram. I said, hey, we called that tank was going to beat him. And what happened? Seventh round. TKO. He hit him in the rear shot. He, he, he broke it. He hit him in the nose round two. Cause, okay, so Garcia got the first hit on him when yeah. he hit him and then he like had him stumbling. Yeah. But then he, he grabbed him and then he got his balance yeah. and then they start they start throwing blows. But I knew Tank wasn't going to go outside. Like, Hell no. Nah. And, he, and he let him keep and he let him keep his Some people really thought too. Garcia had a shot. Nigga, mm-hmm. you saw Garcia said after, yeah, it was, I can't believe there was a mole in my camp. Remember? I guess he said somebody, somebody <laughs> oh told Tank that where, that he was sore, I guess, so Tank knew where to hit him. I mean, you still got your, it's no excuse, you still took the no, L. You, you, he ain't make no you excuses. Know why, you but know they, why he got hit? Because he didn't have his defense up. If he was yeah. covering his face, you yeah. would have never, how you getting hit in the nose and getting a nosebleed in round two? The, it's not even hot. I saw how he, he knocked Tank knocked him down. That bro, round. He hit him in the liver so hard on like in round six. Seven. That, seven. No, like he hit him in the liver in round six. He hit him again in the liver in round seven, and then it was a, it was delayed reaction. He didn't fall immediately. Yeah. He, he was go, he was going for a punch and he fell to his knee. They said that boy was doing the captain. <laughs> they said they said that boy was like the costume. Of, they said I was for BLM. Yeah. <laughs> they said they said he couldn't take a stand, so he took a knee. <laughs> that nigga started bleeding from his nose. That they was counting ten. He even try to get up or not. He said, "Yeah, I can't do this no more." He said, "He said, he said next hit gonna be a, a, a TKO." So he got he lost by a TKO, but he didn't lose by like he wasn't unconscious. I feel like in a no fight, a KO is unconscious. Yeah. TKO oh, yeah. is a technical oh, knockout. Yeah, but if he got hit with a KO, I, that would be way more. Boom. You remember all the people that got slept like. When they lose in a boxing match, like they do the means of like you sleeping and they put the yeah. pillows on you. Yeah. That's way more embarrassing. Like, uh, but yes, the means of him taking the knee are flame, but like if you get knocked out for real, for real, like you're not getting up. Tank had, I, I, after that fight, actually, when I got home, because I went to a fight party, shout out my nigga Dave Davis. Mm-hmm. Uh, I looked at some highlights and that nigga Tank really knocked niggas out. Bro. So, so I don't know if you saw the like post review, they said that he has 93% knockout rate. From his country. Crazy. And he only, he doesn't throw that many punches. So that means the few punches he's throwing and they connect, it's a wrap. He's not trying to throw a bunch. He's not fighting for points. He's fighting to put you to sleep. And he does it most of the time. Bro, 93%. And you know, I looked on. As a matter of fact, I seen a post today. They were talking about like the top 15 fighters right now. They had they disgraced my nigga Tank. They had him like number 10, 11, or some shit like that. I'm like. The only reason why they don't have him higher is he doesn't have. Because think about like boxers like Canelo. Even, yeah. even with his losses, he's fought more than 50 fights. So the reason why Tank isn't up there yet because he hasn't gotten over the threshold of forty fights. Can you pause real quick? So no, we we gonna finish this first and you gonna call back. So right. we literally almost done. And then we, the last topic was Matt Gala. How yeah. they had all the crazy. You saw what P oh. Diddy was wearing. Right, we we'll just, we'll just get we'll just get that. All right, right, right. But at the Met Gala, oh, they had that boy Diddy. He was looking like a whole super villain when he was uh, young Miami. Yeah. Yeah. So it was pretty pretty lit. I was fucking. Saying, Lil Nas X dressing like a roach and shit. I, that nigga weird. Bro. That man went like I get mad guys about wearing like uh, interesting like outfits, but what happened to wearing a cool suit and a cool dress with a cool design? That man was showed up to in a party city costume. Yeah, that's crazy. But hey, man, it's Easter room. But we gonna go ahead and wrap it up for today's episode. Uh, episode eight will be coming soon. Like I, I really hope that next episode is the one that we do on Discord because we want to go ahead and switch it up. If it's not Discord, then it's got to be. Uh, a guest on the show, so we really yeah. want to go ahead and diversify. So stay tuned. Go ahead, keep sharing the podcast on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, uh, Facebook. I'm about to start posting on Facebook too, yeah. so y'all watch out for that. Y'all about to start seeing a link on Facebook. We're literally about to like be pushing this podcast like every day, man. and I'm about to be posting every day. Snap, Facebook, even Twitter. I ain't got followers on Twitter. Even, even if you don't like us, you gonna see us. So yeah, make sure if you at least share it. Some tell tell a friend. I'm sure y'all be. Don't, 
I know y'all motherfuckers be out on board. You know, I know y'all listen to podcasts. And you be at the gym listening to the same album over and over. Fast. That's something different. Listen to that played out goddamn Lil Uzi that came out in 2016. Yeah, what a rock. <laughs> <laughs> they, they like, body, yeah, yeah. So okay. make sure while y'all doing that, y'all check out the podcast. Show some love. Leave some more. I want to see more comments. Bro. Yeah, we're we're gonna give y'all opinions. Shout out my boy Q. Yeah. He comment like every fucking yeah. episode. I've been seeing people at work and uh, around me. They be like, "Oh yeah, I like your part." I'm like, "If you like the part, why don't you say that?" Like, yeah, people say that to me too. Don't, don't be afraid to show support in public, bro. Like that's weird, man. Like yeah, be like, "Oh yeah, I see what you guys do. I like." I'm like, "All right, tell the people." Like, Repost it, like it. Ain't nothing wrong with liking stuff in public. Yeah. Like, show like, some, well, what what do you say? It don't, it, don't, it don't cost nothing to show a nigga some love. Yeah. <laughs> and word of mouth, tell a friend. Like, when, when next time you hear people talking about podcasts, be like, yo, I know some people, homeboy on the ship, one, one of my homeboys on the ship, or from my family, even though my family, they be telling people about it. Shout out my brother. He reposted it last week. Mm-hmm. First time he done that. I appreciate that, big bro. Love you. But, yeah, just show the, show the love, man. Support us. You don't cost nothing to show some love, man. Like, love is free, bro. Like, you don't got oh, All it takes is a repost. All the time. A comment. A like. You know what I'm saying like a like. We have never asked anybody to put five dollars or any amount. Yeah, we ain't trying to get no money. We just want to get that shit shared. Yeah. Like on it's YouTube. If you don't got a YouTube account, you're wrong. Make you a YouTube account. Get you Spotify. It's free. You can listen to it for free. You don't have to pay for Spotify. You don't even, you don't even have to subscribe to listen to our content. We're, yeah, not We're literally just follow just to know when we drop something. Yeah. So come on, people. I want to see some more support out there. Yeah, man. But I appreciate the support though. But as always, we stay tuned into the culture and we out. Peace. Peace.